Uh, first of all, my friend, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. And second of all, uh, you have to play this character for quite a while now. Mm. Uh, talk a bit about the <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Every time that I think it's done and I put into bed, they, they keep on bringing me back into something else in a different medium, you know. And it, it's great. I love I love the character so much, and it's great to to be able to play him in all these different stories across all these different mediums, interacting with all these these different characters, you know. Uh, yeah, I, what's great about this this animated series, City of Demons, is I think it's a real character-driven piece, and it's taken from the comic book All His Engines. You know, it's loosely adapted from that, but, uh, you know, it is a real character-driven piece, and we get to see John, uh, uh, you know, John and Chaz's friendship, kind of. It really delves into that, and, and the backstory of John as well. So it really is a kind of proper Constantine kind of character-driven piece, and I thought the, the writing was great, and, uh, and, and I really enjoyed doing it. And, and it's quite gory as well, you know? It was like, yeah, it was proper, like, comic book John Constantine, so it was great. Since this is a very different Chaz, does mm. this mean this is a Constantine of a different Earth than the NBC series? Um, I, I think, you know, as with everything in the DC universe, and, you know, there's so many iterations of the characters in the comic yeah, books, and I think that the DNA of the character is the same, you know, and I think that whatever story we are telling, you know, you have to serve that story per se. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the... I think that the DNA of the character pretty much, for me, since I started doing the character, the, the, it's pretty much been the same, even though he, there are these different storylines and they could be different timelines as well. But I try not to confuse myself with it. I'm just like, he's John. Just stick to, to John, you know? So you treat him more like Dr. He's a fixed point in time. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, unless they really change something about his backstory, then, you know, He's pretty much the same, the same character. For me. Like a that have length, so. Oh yeah, well the well the court length has actually been the same in all the live action stuff, apart from the last episode of uh, of the Constantine series where I had spoke to Daniel Sarone and talked to him about getting a longer coat like like the comics, and we've been talking about it for like weeks, and eventually they made me one, but then they didn't pick up the back nine, it was like, and we were going to introduce the coat in some fun way, you know. But, uh, and I was like, I think it was Daniel's idea to go, just wear it for the last scene, you know, just wear it for the last scene. And I think it worked really well. It's cool. With you doing all these new Constantine projects mm. and possibly Legend Season 4 if it's picked up, mm. is there any hope that we might see Chaz and Zed again? You know, I never say never in this business. I mean, look, I'm still here, and I think it was four years ago when, when I was shooting the pilot, you know, so... Never say never, but um, I, I'm always the last person to, to know about these things, you know. So you have been playing this character for a long time. Mm -hmm. At this point, how much of the character's personality is just a part of your own? Um, <laughs> hmm. I'm not as much of a bastard as John is. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I, it's funny because each time I put him down, I thought it's, been, I thought it's over. And uh, the hardest bit that I've ever had was going to Legends of Tomorrow because I had just finished doing a play in London and I was playing this Yorkshireman in pre-industrial pre Britain and the accent was really, really thick. Uh, and it wasn't so dissimilar to, to what I do with John, but it was proper Yorkshire, so it was a different kind of cadence. And when I started to work on the script for Legends, the character that I'd just been playing was there. And I was like, fuck. Where's John? Where's John? So I had to go back and like watch a little bit of the, the series and then get my comics out, get all my notes out and stuff. And I spent about like four or five days just like trying to shed the other character and, 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 and get back into John. And then, and then it's funny though, it's every time I put the trench coat on, there's just like this swagger that comes with it, you know? And I can remember like watching the TV show again to try and get into it going, what am I doing? Like, what is that walk? <laughs> It's like, where did, how did you get that? And it's obviously from the comics, but he has a hell of a strut. Do you know what I mean? So I think that those things are John, and they're, and they're definitely not me. Is there a difference from being famous in England versus like being famous in America? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I, think that I think that there's a lot more fans of, the Con of Constantine over here than there, are, than there are in the UK, but I think that's maybe because... It, it did. It only aired on Amazon over there or something. But mm. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't know if they 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 get it as much as as much as you guys over here get it. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you feel as kind of a bit annoyed as me that you know whenever Constantine tries his move or lights up, it gets you know prevented because of the restrictions? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it is funny, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the modern day. It'd be interesting to see kind of what we do with that on Legends if the show gets picked up, you know. But he is a, he is a smoker. But, you know, maybe he should have a vape or something. You know, it's, it is 2018. Come on. <laughs> do you have a different approach to doing Constantine, just the voice, as compared to, you know, putting on the trench coat and doing the acting? Um, you know, no, it's it's pretty it's pretty much the same mentally. I mean, physically, it's, it's slightly different. Uh, you know, doing it in civilian clothes, you suddenly feel like, whoa, this doesn't feel right. You know, where's the where's the, the loose tie and the trench coat? But uh, after a while, it always clicks in. I was thinking about wearing the trench coat in the booth, actually, because I stole a trench coat from the original show. <laughs> I stole, like, a whole costume from the original show and a lighter. So I was thinking about wearing it, but, um, but I didn't in the end. If I do another one, I think I'll wear the trench coat. And, and, like, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do any man. That guy's amazing. Like, have you, have you seen John Wick too? Oh, yeah. He kicks ass, man. He kicks ass. I'm, I gotta say, The Matrix is one of my favorite films. I must have watched that film when it came out like about twenty times, you know, in a row. Yeah, it's great. Who would win in a fight, your Constantine or his? Oh, I'd have to say mine. No, I, I think with his skills, he's probably a bit, he could probably do me in. Yeah.